Alright, here we are playing Lake of Junk by Fuddy98. A for this stage and it's brutally hard, but I still wanted to make a video here of it. Uh, I still think that even though it has brutal uh, challenge and, well, brutal challenges and some brutal enemy placements and all of that, um, I still wanted to go ahead and do a playthrough of this. I already played it and yeah, it did kill me about um, five or six times in, in a couple of segments up ahead. So yeah, it's... yeah. <laughs> the first segment here is pretty easy, like, you know, you have the enemies coming down and it doesn't look so bad, but... Yeah, at a certain point, uh, difficulty is gonna go... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna go up. <laughs> and, you know, that's pretty much what you expect here in Fire Night 8 stages. I've played levels from here before and... Yeah, they typically always are very hard, but yeah, recently they are a little bit easier than they used to be, so I can handle them pretty well right now. And using special weapons in these stages is strongly encouraged, um, it makes things so much easier, like, yeah, you really gotta try and abuse everything as much as you can, and that's partially what I like about uh, these stages here, so like, um, weapons doesn't really feel overpowered, they feel more like, <laughs> they feel like they're necessary almost to beat it. Um, and that's, whoops, that's a charm in its own, I think. You really gotta be careful and observant what's going on here, and yeah, it's all around a pretty fun time. Luckily there aren't spikes here, I kind of feel like there used to be spikes here at one point. It would not surprise me if that was the case. I'm just gonna make that snug little jump. Like it's it's almost a little bit like Kaizo difficulty, just a little bit, you know, well not really Kaizo difficulty, but it's like um, Kaizo light mixed in with some regular enemies, and yeah, it's pretty neat. Once again, we haven't gone to the Kaizo light part yet, you know, <laughs> it's still pretty standard here. But yeah, past Bubble Man here is when things are gonna get grim. So we'll look forward to that. Of course, now that, I've, uh, now that I have already played this, I know what I'm... Well, kind of know what I'm doing, so... Yeah. It's not gonna be as hard as the first playthrough. And I believe... I believe this guy is weak to the search snake here. Nope. Wait, what was he weak to? Was it the cutter? Yeah, it was definitely the cutter. <laughs> um, the main boss is weak to... Was he weak to the snake? I don't know. I don't remember. Doesn't really matter. Let's just try and beat this guy here. Whoops! Slid way too early. And he drops a 1 up. Yeah, I just kind of uh, thought that very recklessly. Um, you don't really need to dodge Bubble Man all that well. He's dealing too little damage. But yeah, this is where it's going to be very hard. Um, so, this. First part here, you just gotta be fast, basically. Um, let's see. Whoops, let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, it's very snug, but you can definitely make it. This jump here, I know you can do this without a special weapon. Yeah, just like that. Um, and this is the... Oh, <laughs> it's so very close. Here you can either just bait this dude out or shoot him on your way up. I prefer to bait him. These rooms here is where it starts to get a little bit harder. Here, I definitely recommend using the laser trident um, to just clear things out. And yeah, up here as well, like, it's best to just shoot the upper row there so that they are all gone. And then kind of just get up here and try your best to jump over this Jairi uh, here. And yeah. Whoa, okay. Back off. You don't really have to be all that scary. All these little fish eggs will heal you, so it's really no big deal with all the gyres. Just gotta keep keep calm and yeah, focus on not falling here. But yeah, all these eggs here mainly is what making it a lot easier than it could have been. Um, you know, I I think like if you go back and play uh, Fortnite, like it's old school hard levels. You know, they were. Yeah, these levels are, I don't know, they, they are very, they are, they are definitely a lot easier. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good balance in my opinion. 
Um, for this jump, this is a nasty jump, and you know, unlike many other stages, we don't really have any gimmick introduction, so to speak, you know, in Falty Night Day stage. He, he expects that you know what's gonna happen, he expects that you know how to react, um, so yeah, this jump here is doable <laughs> with the buster. You have to jump up and shoot that guy very fast, but with the star crash, you can just do that. Um, it makes it a lot easier, and yeah, so I'm gonna definitely be using that for these jumps here. Like, yeah, it, yeah, it just gets nasty otherwise. Um, <laughs> real nasty. But see, this is what I mean, kind of like, you know, in Fadi stages, you have to, you have to use the weapons. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good thing to use the weapons that it gives you. Um, it's. Uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. It just kind of tests um, your knowledge of the game, in a way. Yeah, and so far so good. We have a couple more tricky jumps. I might still die up ahead here. We're definitely not out of the woods. This jump here is the most evil jump in the whole stage. Um, I died three of my, like, seven deaths here. So, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, luckily... <laughs> that happened, too, on one of my successful attempts. You kind of... Bugs, you kind of bug in there, and yeah. Let's see here. Whoa, let's just try and get this jump. This is trickier than it looks. Like you slide off here very easily. Come on. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh. Well, <laughs> we're good. We're good, and they didn't get the E-Tank. Well, getting the E-Tank there in that room uh, isn't all that hard, actually. Uh, you just use the Star Crash and, you know, you jump up and get it. And yeah, as for Hardman, like, I suck at fighting Hardman, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... <laughs> brute force it here. Whoops. But yeah. Um, pretty good stage all around. Flawless... Um, yeah, I did die one stage, so pretty much a flawless run, um, you know, except that I took damage, but, like, I I'm very happy with with this. Let's, yeah, see there, uh, make it pretty easy So, yeah, like, pretty good stage by 4098, um, like, definitely not for beginners or even intermediate players. This level is definitely for pay uh, people who loves the challenge, you know, who wants to, you know, who, who goes into the level and expects to die, uh, like, Five, ten, fifteen times. Like you're, you're gonna, you're gonna die. But that's basically how you, you gotta be in the right mindset to play this level. So if you're going in expecting a um, easy, you know, run to the mill kind of stage, you're probably not gonna have a good time. But as long as you're, you know, mentally prepared for the challenges ahead, you'll be fine. So uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Um, pretty cool stage. Some uh, hard ass platforming, but yeah, I liked it very much. So. I'll just round it up with that. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.